Hello friends, welcome back another video by Science for us YouTube channel. So friends, how are you? I hope you all are fine and doing well. So friends, our today's science topic is synthetic fiber and plastics. For this is for class 6, 7 and 8 students topic. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so you never miss any video. So friends, let us start the video. So first, what are the synthetic fibers? So some fiber which are called synthetic fiber because these are man-made fiber which is prepared by using chemical these are made up of small unit that join together to form a long chain some of the example of synthetic fibers are nylon rayon acrylic polyester etc so fiber matlab ki synthetic fiber matlab ki kya fiber ko synthetic fiber kehte hain these fibers are made up of using chemicals and these chemicals are made up of small units that join together this is known as synthetic fiber example are nylon rayon acrylic polyester etc after that over here your what is what are the artificial fibers synthetic fiber means natural fibers what are the artificial fibers synthetic fiber and textile made up from man-made rather than natural fibers some of the example of synthetic fibers are polyester acrylic nylon rayon acetate spandex latex and calware synthetic fibers are made up by joining of monomers into a polynomials by the process of polymerization so in this artificial fibers, a uh, process of polymerization in use. In this process, synthetic fibers are made by using joining monomers into a polynomials, and this process is known as our your polynomialization. After that, what is thermoplastic? So, when we add a hot water to a plastic bottle, it gets deformed. Such plastic which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastic. Polythene PVC are the sum of the example of thermoplastics. These are used for manufacturing toys, combs and various type of containers. So basically the meaning of thermoplastic means we are using a small kids use toy for playing. We are using combs and various type of container. So this toy comes made this made up of PVC pipe, a polythene and plastic. This plastic it if it get deformed on heating. For example, you take a bottle, plastic bottle of drinking. So, if you put a hot water in it, this bottle will get deformed or otherwise if you will bend this bottle, this bottle will get easily bent and this bottle can, if heat, it can be deformed and easily is known as thermoplastic. The example are polythene and PVC, yes PVC pipe are also coming in thermoplastic. After thermoplastic over here, your, what is petrochemical? It is very easy definition. So, all the synthetic fibers are prepared by number of process using raw material of petroleum origin called petrochemical means for example you take synthetic fibers these are made up of polymerization method in this polymerization there are so many raw material rules in these raw materials if there is petrol used in this raw material for making synthetic fiber then this material is known as petrochemical as a definition over here all the synthetic fiber are prepared by number of process using raw material of petroleum origin which are known as petrochemical so over here petrochemical are very basically very easy defined to understand so all can very easily understand no need to worry that it is very difficult after that petrochemical over here what is polyester polyester is another synthetic fibers fabric which is made up of the fiber it does not get wrinkled easily it remain crisp and easy to wash so it is quite suitable for making dress material you must have seen people wearing polyester shirts and other dresses Trilinary is a popular and it can be drawn into very fine fiber that can woven like other yarn. So, the, what is a polyester? Polyester means it is a fiber, fabric like a synthetic fabric, which which made up of fiber and they cannot be get wrinkled easily. And they after a wrinkle, it remain crisp on that and it is easy to use. Means for example, if we are using a nylon or otherwise any as in synthetic fibers so many are very hard to wash it or very hard to press but this type of polyester synthetic fibers are very easy to wash and this cannot remain get crisp and they can get did not get wrinkled easily while our sweaters which is made up of uh, nylon etc they are wrinkled easily so they not wrinkled easily and they also remain crisp and it is easy to wash and it is quite suitable for making a dress materials means you are reaching using uh, means we are wearing a dre uh, means dress they also made up of polyester so that way it is easy to use otherwise 
for example our sweaters shawl which is made up of uh, nylon they are no very hard to wash it that why this is not known as polyester after that what are nylon nylon means it is another main main fiber which is made in 1931 it was made without using any natural raw material they are only made from plant or animals it was prepared from coal water and air and it was first fully synthetic fiber nylon fiber was strong elastic and light it was lustrous and easy to wash so it became very popular for making cloth so basically nylon is a fiber in which a man made fiber and this is made by using three raw material coal water and air these three are needed to making a raw material means for for making a nylon and this was strongly used means nylon was strongly used in fiber like strong elastic and light and this was very lustrous and easy to wash so as example it became very popular for making cloth we are using we are using uh, wearing a cloth in winter days so it is very popular to for becoming making a cloth after nylon thermosetting plastic so our first is thermoplastic this is thermosetting plastic so a plastic which one does set and does not become soft on heating and cannot be molded a second time is called thermoplastic example of thermosetting plastic are bakelite and melamine so basically a uh, plastic in which the one set means its one is set and does not become soft on heating and could be mounted easily on second time is called thermoplastic setting example are bilakite means a plastic in which once it set but it does not soft means jo plastic ek bar mein hi set ho jata hai dusri bar mein agar aap heat karte ho usko uske baad wo become soft means uske baad jab wo soft hota hai us wale plastic ko hum thermosetting plastic kehte hain aur there are so many example but there are only two i am written over here which is bakelite and melamine and also there are so 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 many example of the thermosetting plastics after that over here your biodegradable so what are the biodegradable so a material which get decomposed easily through a natural process such action of bacteria are called as biodegradable material example plant waste animal waste paper cotton wool wood wo, means woolen cloth jute wood are biodegradable materials so this biodegradable means a material which get easily decomposed in soil this is known as biodegradable for example peel of vegetables fruits paper wood this is the example of biodegradable after your biodegradable what is this non biodegradable the non biodegradable is also very easy defined to understand and to read it to also learn a material which is not easily decomposed by natural process is called non biodegradable means biodegradable means it can get easily by uh, means uh, decomposed in soil but the non biodegradable means a material in which it this cannot be get easily decomposed by natural process for example peel paper wood peel of our vegetables they get easily decomposed but this are not decomposed for example plastic bag can glass bottle etc there are so many example of non biodegradable pvc pipe also so after the last part what is archaic so nowadays winter season is started so you we were means uh, wearing a uh, sweaters and use shawls or blankets in the winter many of these are actually not man made from natural wool through the appear to be reassemble wool these are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called archaic means archaic is we are using sweaters so because these sweaters are not made up of synthetic fibers there are a, on other archaic means another fabric came which is known as archaic and which are using for sweaters shawls etc so over here whole chapter list chapter is completed So friends thank you for watching this video please like this video share with your friends and if you have any doubt please ask me in comment i will give answer to you and please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so you never miss any video and wishing you happy new year 30 2021 so let us start a new year with a new resolution and let let us make this year very beautiful for us thank you so much till then bye guys stay home stay safe thank you